Hello, it's Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better. I reckon Keynote is one of the most underutilized applications for iPad. So let's take a look at what we can do in regard to graphic design. Hello, Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better. I'm going to show you how you can use Keynote today to do some graphic design. We're going to make our own app icon and show you how easy it is with Keynote. So I'm going to go up to Plus and I'll go to my pictures. I've actually saved a Keynote application icon here as a bit of a reference point. I always like to have a reference point because we're going to use some of the colors and gradients in this. And then it's a simple case of going to Plus and then we'll go up to our shapes and we'll move our little square slash rectangle up to the top. Now you can see that my app icon here has got some a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to hit this little green dot here to make them a little bit more rounded. That's looking a little bit better. And then what we need to do is see if we can actually change the gradient. So I'm going to select my shape, hit my paintbrush. I'm going to fill it with a color, but I'm going to fill it with a gradient. I'm going to hit my start color and then if I go to the next page you can see here I've got the color picker um, and so I'm going to hit that and I'm just going to click on my keynote light blue and then if I go up to my paintbrush again and then go to the end color go down to my next option and go to my color picker and I select the last color you can see here I've almost got a mirror image of the color gradient that's used in Keynote. Now I can start to think about what my app is all about. And so I'm going to need a symbol or an icon of some sort that has to do with sound. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We'll go to plus. Let's go to our objects and we'll go along a little bit. Might go back to objects, I think. And if we go down a little bit here, let's see what we've got. I've got some shoes. That's not really to do with podcasts or kind of if we had a podcast app that we were doing. Don't, I'm looking for, oh, here's some headphones. So I'm going to bring those over. And so we're going to need a bit of a contrast in regard to the color. And sometimes that's why reference points are good. I can actually learn off other really great designs. So I'm going to make that white. And I'll select a fill, which will go to color, white. And all of a sudden here, we've got this fantastic um, app icon that is based on our Keynote one with similar gradients, but with my new idea for an app icon. And what I can do there is I can do a couple of things. If I click and drag over, it highlights all my different objects. And what I can do there is I can group. You can see there that it's grouped now. And if I'm really clever, and I'll just delete my keynote item. If I'm really clever, I can bring up my photos in a split screen. And if I go back right down the bottom here, I can hold my finger down on a long press and drag my icon into my photo gallery. Now, the benefit of that is that if I actually put, let's say that I actually wanted to change the background and I was doing some design here. Let's pick a little gradient there, something that's a bit contrasting. What that means is when I bring in that photo that I dragged into my split screen, it creates a nice little PNG file, image file, with a transparent background. So you can see that I haven't got that yucky white element around here that you often find when you're saving images off the internet. So that's just a little tutorial, a little quick tip from me, 10 minute tips over tea. Um, to do some graphic design with Keynote, and you can think about all the different applications from making infographics um, right through to some logo design and kind of starting to combine different objects. It's just a great way to get kids exposed, our students exposed to things like um, color palettes, gradients, uh, contrasting colors, making things stand out, and so on. Hope you really enjoyed that. It's Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Science.